Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to understand some basic formulas for the loss of heat or energy due to friction. So these losses are also considered as the major losses. So in this video, we are going to understand the formula with Chagy's formula with the help of diagram. So this is the second type of formula. Now if we observe this diagram, there is the pipe having some fluid flow. So I have shown here, the fluid is flowing from left hand side towards the right hand side. So we have to show the direction of the velocity V is in the direction of the flow that is towards the right hand side. So here is the velocity V. Now at inlet we will consider the section 1 1 and at outlet we will consider the section 2 2. So in between these two sections there is the length of pipe that is capital L. Now why there is the friction? So when the fluid is flowing inside the pipe, the fluid is in contact with the surface of pipe and that's why there is the friction in between fluid and surface of pipe. So there are the losses for because of this friction. So we can also say that there is the loss of heat due to friction or loss of energy due to friction. So with the help of this capital F I have shown here. So this, this is the friction is in opposite direction of the flow. Now here is the D that is small d that is the diameter of the pipe. Now we will move for the Chagy's formula. So loss of heat due to friction means what? Here I have used notation for head that is H and for friction we have to write for, that is small f at the base of H. That is HF is equal to F dash by rho G P by A L into V square. Now P is the weighted perimeter of pipe. So weighted perimeter of pipe. So we know that pipe is in circular cross section. So perimeter that is pi into D. Then A, area of cross section of pipe. So when diameter is known, what is the area? Pi by 4 D square. Then L, that is the length of pipe in meter. Then V is the mean velocity of flow. Now what is this F dash? So F dash is the frictional resistance per unit weighted area per unit velocity. Now what is this weighted area? So weighted area means perimeter into length. So we can write this weighted area is equal to P into L or we can write here pi D into L. So this is the weighted area. Now this F dash by rho. So if we observe this formula here is the F dash by rho. So this F dash by rho is equal to F by 2 and this F is the coefficient of friction. So suppose in the exam coefficient of friction is given then in this formula we can Replace here f dash by rho with f by 2. Now, if we consider the next that is here p by a is given. But if we take here a by p that is the area divided by perimeter. Then it is known as hydraulic mean depth or hydraulic radius. So this hydraulic mean depth or hydraulic radius is equal to area that is the cross sectional area divided by perimeter. So it is later we have to show with small m. So a is pi by 4 d square p is pi d. So if we simplify this pi pi is getting cancelled d d is getting cancelled then which is equal to d by 4. So we can say that hydraulic mean depth or hydraulic radius m is equal to d by 4. So we can directly take this value. Then change is constant. So how to calculate the change is constant? That is under root of rho g by f dash. So rho is the density and f dash that is the frictional resistance per unit weighted area per unit velocity. So suppose here the f dash is f dash value is given rho is given then we can calculate here the Chagy's constant or in some questions the Chagy's constant is directly given that is the value of c is directly given. Then the loss of head per unit length. So loss of head per unit length that is hf by l is also known as with letter i. So suppose we use here this m c and this i then we have one formula that is v is equal to c under root m i. 
So suppose change is constant is given, velocity is known. Then here this m that is a by p. So from area and perimeter we can calculate this m or m is equal to we can directly take this d by 4. So we have to take this d by 4 directly for calculation of m. And what is this i? So i is equal to hf by l. So suppose we first calculate this i. Then to calculate the head loss due to friction, we have to take here i is equal to hf by l. And then i into l is equal to hf. So by using these formulas or by understanding these formulas in detail, you can solve any type of question for the calculation of head loss due to friction by using Chedi's formula.